So consider that you have some list of numbers like minus 7, 22, 38, right? Then let us say minus 71 and here let's say 53. So let us say the value of key that will be provided by the user that is your let's say 38. So in that case, you're supposed to find that at which index this key is present, right? So if you observe the indices of this array, that is a zero here, then one, two, three, four. So if you observe this number 38 is present in index two, right? So you're supposed to return the index, right? In case if you find the element that is present in the list. So in this case, your output should be, your output will be your second index, index two. Now, what if the element is not present? Let us say the value of key, let us say your key is 100. So if you observe this number 100 is not present in any index. So in that case, if your element is not present, your output should be minus one. So that indicates the element is not present. Now consider one more case. Let us say your elements are like this. Let's say minus seven, 22, 38, minus 71, 38, 53, again 38, right? So in this case, if you see there are there are more than right 38 oc 38 occurs more than one time so if your element is repeated multiple times in that case you're supposed to return the index of the first occurrence of that number okay so this should be clear now just in case if your list is empty again your output should be minus one right so i hope you understood the problem description now pause the video and try to write the code for this so let us say the name of this is this algorithm is let's say search okay so what i'll be doing is that my key value will be given any value that will be provided by the user as well as the array itself so this search will receive the list or array whatever it is let's say t and then what i should be doing is that i will iterate over this array that is i can use a loop so before that i can take flag okay and this flag initial value I will take minus one. So if I get the element, right? So in that case, I will, I'll put the index of that element, which I have found. So what I can do, I can just iterate that is I starting from zero and it will go till n minus one, right? In that case, I will check if my current element. So this T is the name of the array or list, whatever. If my current element is equal to key. So here, not only this T, along with this uh, array i'm supposed to pass this key as well right so let me erase this and correct it so not only the array we are supposed to pass the key right so in that case let's say key here now if my current element is equal to key in that case in that case i will return so instead of okay so i will return what return the index so at which index i found out at index i so i will return i from here that's it finally i'll just come out here and i will write return minus one so if the current element is matching with the key in that case i'll return the index index i now just in case the element if the element is not present in my list or array in that case this statement return minus one will be executed right so this is the whole idea we'll just convert this algorithm into code so first of all I'll be writing my boilerplate code. So that is your hash include IO stream. And then here my main function and here return zero. So first of all, I'll write the basic code that is int n, that is the size of the array. And then let me ask the user to enter the value of n. So enter n and using C in statement, I'll read the value of n. And after that, I can write int star LT, that is your array new int n and let me ask the user to enter the values one by one right so i can write here a message that is standard c out enter the elements or enter the values one by one one by one so once it is done now i'll be using my loop to read the values i starting from zero i less than n and i should increment every time by one okay and I will read the values at every index, right? So list of I, right? So here's standard scene. 
all right so here at last semicolon now by the end of this when you are in line number 14 your this array will be filled with the numbers right that is by your user input now we are supposed to take the key so in this case int key and let me assign this to 0 and I'll ask the user to enter the value of key that what user wants to search right so enter the key fine so here let me put slash n for the new line and again for key as well here I'll be writing slash n for the new line and using c in statement I can read the value of key so that's all right now I'll be declaring my function so the return type should be integer why because I'm supposed to return the index number that means it will be an integer type right so that is why your return type should be int so return type int and this algorithm is actually your linear search why because sequentially I'm just finding all the elements I'm trying to compare all the elements with my key right if it matches I'll return that particular index that is your respective index and if just in case the key does not matches with the any of the element that is present in my list so in that case I'm gonna return minus one right so I hope this point is clear now here the name of the function let's say ls and I'll write a comment here that is ls stands for linear search linear search all right so I'll take my array name as t and here along with that I have to consider my size and then key here right fine so this is my function declaration right now I will define my function that is your return type int name is ls here int t is the name of the array int n the size of the array and int key with which I will compare all the elements right I don't think that this flag is required right if you can just ignore this part so I can write here for int i starting from 0 i less than n that is the size of the array that is the number of elements present in the array now if my current element if my current element is matching with the key in that case I will return I will return i that is the index number right otherwise that means in this line number 33 right when you will reach this line number 33 if you do not get your element right so that is why return minus 1 so here if you observe your flag is not required so that's why I discarded this flag here you can just ignore it by commenting out like this okay now my function is ready so I'll call this so let me write here int result assignment operation let me call the function ls and pass the array first of all then the size of the array and key here right and finally I will print out my result so slash n here result along with that res variable and then finally the new line right so standard endl so now I'll just compile this make test all right there is no error now let me run this so enter n so how many values 5 so 5 values what are those minus 7 22 38 minus 7 22 38 and then minus 71 and then 53 so enter the key uh, so let us say I want to search for 34 38 so this is present in index 2 so I'm expecting that 2 should be printed so you can see the result 2 now let me run this once more and let me enter 5 elements like the same same example right minus 7 then 22 38 minus 71 and 53 okay 5 so let me enter 100 so we know that 100 is not present in that case it should return minus 1 right so here so it has printed minus 1 now let me run this once more so let us say number of elements 0 so in that case key definitely I don't want to search anything right so let me put any random number so you can see the result is minus 1 right if your array is empty in that case the result is minus 1 and finally the last input where multiple occurrences of same number is there let's say 7 numbers here we have let's say 2 then 3 then 38 and then let's say 5 again 38 and here 9 6 okay so enter the key so I want to search for 38 so if you observe here 0 1 2 so 2 should be the output of this so result is 2 so just in case if you have multiple occurrence of the same number you're going to get the index of the first occurrence right so in this case if you observe this is 0 1 2 so 2 is printed so I hope this program is clear